the first time, first responders in Snyder County are being paid for their work. It all boils down to a lack of volunteers. Today was the first day for the paid EMS crew, and Eyewitness News reporter Valerie Tysander is live for us in our central Pennsylvania newsroom to explain. Valerie? Well, Monica and Drew, there were four paid EMS people who started their first day today, but Beaver Springs has allocated money for six, which means they're hiring. It's the first day on the job for four paid EMTs at Beaver Springs Ambulance Company. The first time the company is paying EMTs to save lives instead of relying on volunteers. We just don't have the volunteers anymore. I, right now, I believe we have 17 active volunteers, and that's not enough to provide 24-7 coverage. EMT Chief Adam Ewig says they've been looking at paying people for the last two years because without a continuously staffed building, they haven't been able to respond to all the calls they get. With our volunteer staff, we were only answering maybe 50, 55 percent of those calls. The new EMTs work from 8 to 4.30 in teams of two. The rest of the time, the department will rely on volunteers. Matt Abbey and Sonia Runninger are two of the newly hired EMTs. They both work in other EMT departments in the central Pennsylvania area and say finding volunteers is a problem everyone is facing. It's quite a lot, and if you're not really doing this as more like a career like I am, as a volunteer trying to find the time, when you have your 40 hour a week job to get the requirements and the training and updates. And so on days like today, kind of boring. <laughs> uh, some days we might have four, five, six calls. Next day we'll have a day like today. And they check the ambulance and make sure everything is working to keep their skills sharp and ready to save a life. The additional cost of the EMT, the paid EMT staff, will be paid for by the people who use their services. But if you don't want to have it billed to your insurance, there is an option where you can buy a membership through the company. Reporting live in the Central Pennsylvania Newsroom, Valerie Tysander, Eyewitness News.